Hey guys, welcome to the Extrude Tool Overview. Here we'll be talking about the Extrude Tool, which you can call using the letter E while in edit mode. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that real quick. If we go ahead and tab into this cube, I'm gonna go ahead and select this vertex. You can also select edges or faces. And I'm gonna go ahead and extrude by pressing E. And then you can left click to confirm or right click to cancel. So I'm gonna go ahead and left click here and extrude an edge as well just to demonstrate we go into face select mode with control tab and then uh, extrude that one as well so you guys can see the various different possibilities there now I want to go ahead and demonstrate what happens when you right click to cancel so I'll go ahead and select this face here and extrude but instead of left clicking to confirm I'll go ahead and right click to cancel and then I'm gonna go ahead and press the G key to move this face just to show you that it is actually still there. So what the extrude and then cancel option does is it keeps the face extruded, but then brings it back to its original position. Now, if you are unaware of this feature, it could get a little bit confusing when you right click and think it's not actually there anymore. But this is intentional and is actually very useful for situations such as scaling it. So I can actually scale this up now and then extrude it again. And then I have this kind of pyramid looking uh, object now, if I could just keep doing it, maybe like a telescope or something. And you can kind of get these cool little patterns and uh, various uses for that feature as well. Now, another way you can use the extrude tool is using control left click. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that and go into edit mode. I'm going to select a vertex actually, and then hold control and then left click. As you can see, what this does is it extrudes a vertex and then snaps that extruded vertex to wherever my mouse cursor is. So this allows us to do a lot of cool things like working very quickly with custom shapes and stuff like that. You can kind of draw a sort of uh, abnormal polygon that you wouldn't normally be able to make very quickly with the typical extrude shortcut. However, using control left click, does take away your ability to move your selection along an axis. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that real quick. And I'm gonna go into edit mode and select this face here and go ahead and press the E key to extrude. And by default, it moves along the normals. But if you don't want it to move along the normals, firstly, you can press the Z key. And uh, as you can see, it will actually detach and move freely or you can press uh, any of the axis keys, which is X, Y, or Z, uh, Z again in this case, and that would give you the global Z axis, or the global X axis, or the global Y axis, or you can double tap either one of those keys and get the local axis relative to the object. Now there's something else you can do with the extrude tool that is very helpful in certain situations, such as with spheres. Now let's say you have this sphere and you want to select a few of the faces here and extrude them all at once outwards without changing their scale just to kind of give it sort of like a spike texture or something like that well if you press the E key as you can see it doesn't really do that and if I press the E key and then right click and then scale it will actually scale the faces as well so now it kind of looks like these loud speakers or something like that let's say you don't want that I'm going to go ahead and undo and undo again for the extrude and then, um, as you can see here, we have this button called Extrude Individual. So I'm going to go ahead and press this button. And as you can see, all of a sudden, it extrudes each and every one of these faces individually along its own independent normals. And this is really helpful for spheres because each one of these faces has its own unique normal. Now, just to demonstrate what we went over, I'm going to go ahead and make a quick chair in a matter of seconds using the Extrude tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into this default cube here and then scale it down as this will be the seat of our chair. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use Control R and then scroll up one to create two edge loops and then right click to keep it in place and then do that again here. And we have a tic-tac-toe pattern. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go back into face selection mode with Control Tab. And I'm gonna select these four corners and these three uh, faces here in the back. And that will be the back of our chair. And then I'm going to go ahead and press the E key. And obviously, since I don't want them to move in the same direction as the bottom will be our legs and the top will be the back, I'm going to right click. And then I'm going to press S to scale and then Z 
for the global z-axis and then just scale it up until I find it is satisfactory. And there we have it. That is a very basic quick and dirty chair that was made in a matter of seconds. So that's it for our extrude tool overview. I hope you guys found it helpful.